people are laughing, and it's very strange that these guys pick me out of a hat. Yeah. And they're throwing me obscene. I mean, the, 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 nobody pays ten G's a week to chase down a guy to serve papers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Then they sent me an email, and they told me that if I can locate this guy before I do anything or call in a sheriff, they want me to see if I can and stake the place out, confiscate his laptop, mm-hmm. and then call in this number. They said they've got a team. So I'm thinking to myself, what, what, what have I gotten myself into here? Mm-hmm. You know, these are not these are not normal people, and I'm doing all this research, and it leads back to these wacko religious freaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 these people out of Vancouver, they, they it doesn't make any sense. They, mm-hmm. And there's heavy money behind these guys. Yeah. So how, how does this uh, guy Mitchell uh, fit in? How, how did this he? This is my contact. His name is his name is Brad. And he's been calling me, and every time he gets on the phone, he puts me on pause, and he's calling out. He's got some English guy on the phone. He's got another guy on the phone, and they're asking me all these questions. Okay, do you think he's in Toronto? Listen, I don't, I don't give a shit because if he's here, he ought to run. Mm-hmm. Because these guys are fanning out. Mm-hmm. So wherever he is, get the fuck out of Dodge. Get out of Dodge. Is there any way he can do <coughs> What do these people want from him? Well, I know that they, they were looking for him because he's caused a, he was excommunicated and making a nuisance of himself uh, to but the it's church. It's got to be more than that. Not for this kind of money, man. It's got to be more than that. They're telling me that they, they had people following his wife on a bus, that they had people sent out to you, and that they were offering to fly you out to places. And I'm thinking, none of this adds up. Mm-hmm. None of it adds up. Yeah. I, I mean, am I going to be able to shake these people? I mean, I, I got a feeling that, that I mean, these, these are, this is just not a good vibe. It's None of this is adding up. And it, mm-hmm. it just, it's got to be more than just this guy making fun of people or pissing people off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'm not getting it. How, how big are these people? The church. I, I, it's not a huge church, but um, very rich, apparently. And uh, I don't know very much. Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's got to be a way to shoot and, and so, so, I, I, so since you spoke to me the other day, they've been contacting you again? Yeah, they're telling me that I've been engaged for the job that I took the deposit and I have to finish it. I'm, I'm not finishing a job with these people. I told them I'll give them their money back. I, I don't want nothing to do with it. Uh-huh. And, and I don't, I mean, they're, they're, what they're basically asking me to do is, is illegal. Oh, yeah, there's lots of things that they would do that is illegal. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's mm-hmm. more than just illegal. They're talking about, I mean, they're talking about kidnapping. Mm-hmm. Are, are they, this, this ain't right. Are they specifically, explicitly using that word? Not that word, but they sure as hell danced around it. Mm-hmm. And they're offering all kinds of dough on top of it. So, I mean, look. Uh... I, I, I don't understand, but they got all this guy's medical documentation. They got everything. They got everything on this guy's life, stuff that's supposed to be sealed. Sealed. Mm-hmm. That's heavy duty. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how much are they offering you? Uh, you know, um... said I got a blank checkbook to find this guy, and they told me if I could find him within a month, they'll give me a $150,000 bonus. Mm-hmm. That's that's insane for a guy who's a nuisance. That, that, that don't add up. They're, they want more from this guy. Mm-hmm. He must have the goods on them and something fierce. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he go to law enforcement or something? Why? There's got to be somewhere he can go. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got access to a few different databases that he doesn't, but I'll tell you one thing. I ain't telling these guys nothing because yeah, I don't want my name tied to this. This yeah. guy goes missing. Right, 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 right. I, right. I don't. I know it's us. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, look, there's, these people are giving me the big time creeps. Mm-hmm. Big time creeps, and, 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 and they're, they're having people reach out to me that are, are way too big on the chain. Mm-hmm. You know, to try to change my mind, I, I, don't, I don't need to be taking calls from, from people in Alberta who sit in the premier's office, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so who's this Alan Holman? Oh, sorry, can you remind who who was that? This Holman guy was uh, a political organizer for the premier. Kenny. He used to be his boogeyman. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay.
so so <laughs> so they gave you they, they gave you a um, a check and no they didn't give me no check they, they're sending me interact fee transfers five grand at a time from a place called Klondike Mules uh-huh. and another place called Tilsonburg Tube Tilsonburg Tube Right. Yeah, they're, they're, they're two different, they're, they're sending me for just little businesses. Like clockwork, every Sunday it comes in. I I, I, I want to give them their money back. I, mm. I, I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is too heavy for me. I don't do this sort of stuff, mm-hmm. but that's not what this is about. These guys are hunting this guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, this is not what I do. They, uh, I'm really, really freaked out about this. He's got to run. He's got to go. He's got to get the hell away from here. If he's in Ontario, get out of Ontario. Mm-hmm. Go anywhere but pick a province on a map with a dart. <coughs> okay. Anything. If, if you ever, you know, like, I need to know more about these people. Uh-huh. I don't care. I don't care if it comes through a letter. I just need to know about these people. Who the hell are they? And if he's ever heard of this guy named Brad Mitchell? Okay. Because that guy is really giving me the creeps. What, what, what specifically is he saying to you about? It's how he's saying. Mm-hmm. The, the guy, I thought these were religious people. This guy is talking about his wife. Is he, I'll give you an example. This mm-hmm. is not my word. Okay, I'm going to give you a bird of bomb. Okay. He's telling me she's a coon. And then he's making remarks on about Jews, and he's making remarks about. He said this guy's a packy. Mm. This is how he talks. Okay, yeah, right. Okay. This guy's supposed to be religious. No, no, no. Yeah, nothing religious about it. Yeah. That's it. I, I'm, I, I'm just, you know, I'm ducking these guys' calls, and and uh, I don't want the same treatment from the <coughs> religious loonies uh, coming by my place of business and shit. I can't. I don't. I don't need that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for your heads up. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Let me go. 